can run above 100 if you want. I'm on PC. The, uh, the menu looked like shit, but the game looks good. I don't know what's going on with the menu. So, let's see what we see. Like I said, guys, I've got a lot of things running on the computer to stream, so we'll... It's kind of a... My problem with the sounds is that they dumb them down a lot. And a lot of the cars sound similar, which I'm not happy about. But, that being said, this game's still you fucking really awesome. <laughs> Especially if you're coming from PSVR like I was. Project Cars is one of my favorite racers just for its accessibility and it's... One thing I love that they've done is you really get that feeling of edge of your tire. Like you can feel that ass kick out now. Especially once you get some warm tires. You can drift, which you could never do before. Whether you want to or not, I guess, but... I mean, Viper was one of the cars I grew up with as a kid, so... God, I gotta be... Gotta be in here. But this car, this is a V10, it just doesn't sound like it should. The stream's not 60, eh? Well, I suck, I'm working on it. <laughs> you can see flickering on that Toyota over there, that's, that's not cool. So get this ass to kick out a little bit, you'll see what I mean. And I really like that. Whoa! Too much chat looking. <laughs> That's why you don't look at chat when you're racing. For anybody watching who cares, I'm on a T300. I got two TH8A shifters. One is a handbrake, one is a paddle shifter. Not paddle, sorry. Um, the H pattern, plus paddle shifters on the wheel. I'm gonna play seat with uh, two butt kickers. Racing and talking. JD, I don't know how you do it, man. Oh, fuck, I hate that corner. Totally forgot about it. Oh, there you go, see Tatsu, I was just telling you about that. <laughs> Yeah, I've got two butt cookies under the seat, which aren't on right now, because I was afraid that you'd hear them. They vibrate the whole rig, uh, depending on what I'm doing. So, you know, even with its faults, uh, it's still, like, this is one of the reasons I really wanted to get on PC VR, because I love racing sims, and there's just nothing on the PlayStation. Drive Club was just a tease and it just wasn't there for me. I was too arcadey. Although funny enough, this has a lot of similarity with some of the physics they've changed. Still a lot more simmy. <laughs> uh oh. I'm just glad that you guys can hear me and I can see the chat and it feels like I don't have. <laughs> See, JD, I mean, you can attest this. This doesn't sound beefy enough. I jumped into a racing uh, C6 Corvette in this game, and I was like, I'm losing my mind. This car sounds like ass. I went back to Project Cars 2, and it was like a completely different car. Like, it was just like, Bruh! I don't understand what they've done to the sounds here. They've also taken out almost all the lighting. You notice that, like, nice the windshield, nice anyone who knows Project Cars 2, the windshield is just not reflecting like it used to. The car is not reflecting like it used to. It's a little more stable as a VR game, but it should be with all the graphical downgrades. And I'm running this pretty high. It does look pretty sharp, I will say that. But the flickering's not cool. Weather effects are still good, but the lighting's toast. All right, what do we got here? I gotta get my shit together. Man, I love that ass end kicking out. That is my favorite thing about this game. With the new physics. That's your fastest lap of the race. 
You're on the final lap. Keep your focus. Yeah, focus. That's a thing, isn't it? Yeah, they might have improved the soundproofing, and that's one thing. But when you even go outside the car, because I thought I was losing my mind, I went to the replay, it's still not there. It's hit or miss, though, and that's always been Project Car's problems. It's hit or miss on the car physics, and now the sounds, too. Well, the sounds, I guess, before as well. But, you know, for guys like JD, who's in chat there, who's a real sim racer, this game's not for them. It's just not. It's just going to piss them off more than anything. But if you're looking, like me, for some... Like sim is sim ish that's not really sim cade yet. This might be a good in between. We'll see how it plays out as they uh, patch it. It is that ass hanging out that I love. Get that ass up. Yeah. Come on. Up the pace, just keep on pushing in the next one. Yeah, that's that's the big thing, JD. Sim esque, that's the word I'm going for. <laughs> it's not quite Simcade, like it'll kick your ass if you don't respect it. But for those of you who are watching who care, like I mean, I know this isn't PSVR, but I will say one thing they have improved on straight up because you know they were trying to go for accessibility with this game drives better with a controller, like a DS4. It's really, really drivable with a DS4. In fact, it might almost be industry standard for uh, kind of sim type games with a controller. It does a really nice job. Um, unfortunately though, I think that, that means that the wheel got shafted a little bit and that's some of the complaints, right? We'll see. It'll be interesting to see if they can make it a little more for everybody. Does anybody have any requests for cars? This is Project Cars 3, JD, yes. Oh, there you go. Thanks, JD. You're handling shit. Um, yeah, well, I really hope we see this on PS5. It's on PS4, but not in VR. <laughs> there you are. Lip, how's it going, man? J Liv, I think you're in there too, man. Hey, sorry, I'm just having a hard time. Anyways, cars, tracks, anybody, anyone, anything? BMW, okay, there we go. G of course you want the GT class. Shocker. <laughs> Beamer, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, those are GT3, that might satisfy you. That might be what you get. You get a GT3. Maybe that's what you were going for. Okay. Oh yeah, this fun, I, wheel is a ton of fun if you can uh, can justify the cost which I, I I started cheap I got a cheap wheel I got a cheap seat and I wanted to see if I liked it let's try a different track let's go to one of my favorite courses that's still pretty short but we got a race car so we better go to a race course lots of courses lots of courses and if you guys haven't done project cars one of the things I love about project cars that no other game has well I guess a set of course it does if you have the mods is um Stuff like this, they have open courses, which I haven't seen since Need for Speed 1. Just A to B courses. So the little kid in me likes that. Bathurst Mount Panorama, that is one of my favorite courses out there. Let's mix things up a little bit for you guys so you can see what's up. Let's go into a full on thunderstorm. Perfect. And what do we got here? Let's do one more lap, just because we want to see the weather change. You can see some of the options here, guys. This is just, what I'm running right now is just um, basically um, custom mode. I, I'm, I'm going to show you night. Actually, you know what? I talked about how the lighting got downgraded. One thing that they still did really good on here is weather and night. Now, when you say, wow, panorama... I, uh, a lot of the sim guys don't like it. I have problems with it too, Lip, but it's still awesome as shit. Don't get me wrong. I mean, dude, 
dude! <laughs> like, at a certain point, you just have to step back and go, it's still just freaking amazing. Especially if you're a PSVR guy that just wanted to race. Okay. Let's do a little reset. Oh, crap, I forgot to switch. I have the uh, clutch on manual. So, well... Still seeing some frame rate hiccups. Never mind the start, it's time to make other positions. Is that positivity I hear coming from you? JD? <laughs> Man, I don't race GT3 cars, man, so you're just going to have to let me dial this in. Ooh. Hey, JD, you might be able to answer this. Um, in real life, do GT3 cars have an automatic clutch? Or, or are they running a manual clutch? The sounds are hit or miss, depends on the car. Some cars are amazing. This is better, this is better sound wise. Woo! Just to dial this car in, man. That's the one thing about project cars, switching cars can be a little rough because of the insane levels of classes. Ooh. Auto, that's what I thought. And that's the problem, I'm having to put the clutch in. That's a piss off. The old Project Cars had it so that you, whatever car you got into, it just, that's, whatever the car was, that's what you had to race. But here, being all accessible, if you want auto, you got auto and everything, you know, you, I, I'm sure I could, I bet you I could H pattern this if I wanted to, which I don't like. Woo! Let me see. Yeah. So I'm H pattering, I don't really like that. I mean, I like the feel of it, but it's not realistic. Which, I mean, you can turn off. Woo! That clutch is really pissing me off. What? Oh, sorry, I've got that H pattern in. Oh yeah, JD, you'd also like that. They've got a manager built in. So you see the rain starting to come on now. You bastard. Man, that's pissing me off with that clutch. <laughs> nope, not at all. <laughs> I suck, and reading chat's pretty hard. You know, what JD can attest to this. It's, you gotta, you got. Oh yes, I forgot to put the lightning on. Um, the other thing they added is puddles, which I really like. Sense of speed is decent too. I like the headrest. Uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. Let's see if I can take this without. Mm, rain. Too much. You gotta dial a car in a track in. You really do. Son of a bitch. 
They've uh, toned damage down too. You can't damage the car mechanically. And physical's still there, but it's a little rough. You gotta really bang it around. What the hell is that? Is that the new vet? Oh, that rain's coming down heavy now. Holy crap. I've got to ease up on that throttle. Sorry guys, I'm trying to read. <laughs> well, that's why you don't read. And All right. What the? Oh, it's that H pattern in gear. Sorry guys, I don't normally suck this bad. But just trying to dial the car in is uh, is a thing. When uh, especially when they have the wrong manual on. Ooh, that is brutal. You know what? Since I'm sucking balls here, let's jump back out. I'm going to show you one of my courses that I like. <laughs> it's hard. I need to talk. Yeah, that's that's kind of the idea, right? I got to get that. Uh, I got to get the clutch off if I'm going to be using that car. And that's the thing you have to keep in mind. Of, like I have to consider what car I'm going into and then do it accordingly. Um, here, let me show you guys something a little nuts that you can do in this game, which I think is hilarious. Um, let's just go here quickly. Go to settings. Yeah, they got music in the game now. I turn that off in the course because I hate listening to music when I'm driving. Mm -mm. Gearing. I want to go auto because I'm going to switch over to... Oh, no, auto. I want manual. I want the clutch off. I believe that's over here. Off. Oh, the automatic clutch was on. Interesting. Weird. So anyways, if you guys are wondering, there's a full career mode now. I might jump into this uh, if people are hanging around. Um, haven't got it to it yet. Challenges are weekly, monthly things that are going to be added in. It's XP based now too. You got a full multiplayer. Yeah. A bunch of multiplayer stuff. Dirt, uh, dirt courses are out. Go-karts are out. But the Rivals is kind of cool. It's like custom situations with different cars and those are also updated weekly uh your cars are also upgradable now so you can mod the shit out of them so rogue what the uh, black things are and i've got to try to change that is i've got the field of view um screwed up on the oculus mirror that i'm grabbing from i haven't when i'm recording i can get rid of it i forgot about my stream so thanks for that um, the video being jumpy is probably a few things. Could be a frame rate thing too, but thanks for letting me know. I will look back at this video. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm doing it on YouTube. So yeah, guys, I'm also streaming on Twitch, so I don't bombard the crap out of you guys with streams if I want to do some more. Um, anyways, what I wanted to show you, which I think is hilarious. So we're going to, we're going to go here. Go something a little more. Yeah. There we go. Let's... We are going to go to the California Highway <laughs> with an F1 car. There we go. We're going to get rid of that rain, and then I'll show you a night course after this. I don't want to deal with rain with this car. All right. Seal it. You have a PC. Take a stand. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. It's crazy out there right now. Oh, 
Oh, wow. We got some vintage in here. Oh, wow. That's crazy. This will be interesting. You really shouldn't. The reason I think this is hilarious is because this thing's hilly. Like, you'll straight up Duke's a hazard this shit. It shouldn't. Woo! Okay. Holy crap. Wow. The feeling of speed when you're in VR and the open cockpit is crazy. Oh, wow. That is snappy. Holy! Oh, that is zippy. Ooh. Wow. Holy shit! This car is stupid. Oh wow, I can I can't open this thing up. I gotta feather that gas. Yeah, totally. Well, I really shouldn't be on this course in this car. That's what makes it, like that's what makes it so fun. <laughs> uh, that's what I was talking about right there. That's ridiculous. That's actually probably not inaccurate. I agree. I agree. It is. That's awesome. Holy shit, this thing's fast. Got those tires? No, oh, I still can break that grip and just like nothing. Like I can't put it down. Still got some frame rate issues. You see a pop-up though, and that's not a frame thing, that's just the way it is. Woo! Oh. That's my train of thought there. an open part here. This is going to open up eventually. Wow. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, that's fast. Holy shit balls, I shouldn't have wigged out on that, I had it. Here we go. Are topped out. Yeah, 
Ah, uh, that flickering's pissing me off. Let's see if we can take this. Let's get sharp fast. Man, that hauls. That's better. The tires are finally warming up. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Holy shit. Trying to shift through those uh, torque spikes, man. We're gonna get a little more air here. here too but I'm gonna slow it down here it looks good PC2 looks better if you've got the computer to run it but there are definitely things I like about it I don't know I flip-flop on this game to be honest with you I'm disappointed in some areas happy in others I, but I'll be honest with you, I think I'll probably go back to PC too. Hmm. If I wanted just a rip. But I like how those back ends kick out now. Yeah, well, I mean, the quest is just the rift now with a better screen and slightly lower hertz when it's plugged in. I mean, it's getting all the love now over the rift anyways, as far as the updates goes. Great driving. You nailed it. That was absolutely dominant from start to finish. Viewing angle is about 90. That's not shit, but it's not best in class either. I'll show you a night course. Car engine sounds just aren't as in your face anymore. That really bugs me. Loved the engine sounds before. Um, Competizione has nice sounds. I guess iRacing has nice sounds too. That's one of the things. Their sounds are good. Their visuals are mmm, but their sounds are where they need to be. I think it's almost more important to be honest with you. Hmm, let's do something a little more. There's so many courses now. You'd have to pay like a thousand dollars to get all this in eye racing, JD. <laughs> um, ACC looks great in VR too. I haven't played a lot yet, but I played a little. Ooh, you know what? I know the perfect night course. One of the new ones. Might be Shanghai. Mm, I don't know. Hang on a second. It's a road course. I know that. Oh yeah, that's one of the new ones too. Let's do that just because it's fun. There's a lot of versions of this. To Cougar Ridge. Vehicle, let's swip that up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I guess for people watching, maybe we'll do a crowd pleaser. Yeah, sounds right. Not too quick. You gotta go red. How, how do you have a Ferrari and not be red?
Well, that's what I'm saying, right? You can tell the Project Cars is still using most, mostly laser scan courses. You can just feel it with the road detail. Um, although, like, seriously, I've told you, the force feedback is just... It's not detailed, man. It's really disappointing. Um, it's not as, like off as it was in PC2 before they fixed it, but it's the detail is just not there. Um, okay. Night. Let's do night. I don't even know what Twilight, Twilight really looks like. One thing I do like about, uh, the night mode, and it's such a stupid little thing, but I can turn my lights on and off. And I mean, I know that's not unusual in a sim, but with all the things they've taken away, I'm just happy to see that you can still control your wipers and your lights and stuff. Sweet. Oh shit, I didn't know I took a convertible. Ha! Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, see, this doesn't this does not sound like a frickin' Ferrari should, man. Like, come on, this doesn't sound anything like a Ferrari. Oh. Sorry. Paying too much attention to the, uh... To the sounds. Where are those lights controls now? Oh, uh, yeah, there we <laughs> Nice. Cars look nice on the inside, though. Oh, shit! I forgot about that! I don't think I've raced in this course since PC1. I can't stand having the maps on. I try to keep the HUD as clean as I possibly can. Which I'm sure anyone who sims races could appreciate. Okay, now. Let's get this shit together. This is bullshit. Uh, it's funny that you mention that because that's my problem. Is it feels like Shift 3. And I think they should have gone with that, I'll be honest with you. I think they should have called it Shift 3. People would have known what they were getting. They would have been excited. It's probably because they don't have the need for speed name. But they should have just gone with Shift. Like, what is this sound? I mean, at least the sounds are coming from the rear. Sorry, I gotta stop paying attention to the sounds as much. But it's like, the crazy thing, and I saw Simpatic talk about this, is like, they have the sounds! Like, they had them in PC2! It's like, did they all lose rights with them when they left to Codemasters? Like, it's like... Seriously, we're going back. Like, this is going back to like GT5 days. Love that drift. <laughs> Frame rate's slick in that mirror still. It's only seven, six gears, right? Ooh, she's got seven.
better. Not great, but better. Fuck, and forgot about it again. <laughs> okay. I should have gone through these courses first before I just rip in to a stream. <laughs> Yeah, definitely got a shift vibe. Woo! Man, I love that drift. If you want it. There's some things about the uh, force feedback I like. Oh, well, there's a little bit of detail there. The back tire's kicking. Oh, man. This track reminds me of the Thief Mile and Willow. Smoothing out a little bit now. Woo! That feels crazy in VR, man. I to put my hand on that wheel. Uh oh. This feels good. Not this time, motherfucker. <laughs> like it's, I can, you can kick the ass out and you know what it's gonna do. And I love that now. Brownie, how's it going? I don't know if I've ever seen you in my chat, at least it's been a while. I guess I haven't streamed in a while. Uh oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, thank goodness. Man, what are we on here? I suck. What lap are we on? Oh, really? Okay, well, I'm gonna try one more thing, one more thing, and then I'll probably call it a night because I know that there's some issues with, this, with the stream, guys. With some frame rate issues and stuff. Still learning, and Project Cars is a beast. Um, it always has been on uh, hardware, and I've got a high end computer, but I'm running OBS and OVR and I'm streaming and I'm pushing the game pretty hard too. So let's try. You know what? Let's just pop for. Sh oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. I was gonna say I'll pop in. I'll show you the career mode, which I haven't tried yet. I didn't even know you played anything other than Rec Room, Frowny. <laughs> Okay, hey, that's what my competition looked like. Let's, you know what, I don't want to go back to the career mode, but for anyone just tuning in, I'll show you. Got a full career, can't talk, full career mode in Project Cars 3 now. Um, it's nothing super special, but like, you know, you see what you do. You can upgrade cars now, which I might do another stream of once I get there. But you, uh, yeah, like I said, you can add parts and change shit up now. They're kind of going the Forza, Gran Turismo, old Gran Turismo route. Multiplayer, um, pretty much what you'd expect. Rivals is pretty much like weekly, monthly challenges. 
a uh, custom event is basically what I was in. And yeah, garage, showroom, etc. Uh, let's go back to custom event. Let's try one more course. Hmm, that is a dirt course in the old one. I know what I'm going to do. Good old classic. One of my favorites. What? You better be here. What are you going under? Looking for spa. But it has a different name as well. Screw it. I like the Azure. Let's do it. And let's get off night. I'll go back to days. Let's go dawn. Bump up the time progression. Yeah, I've been digging No Man's Sky too. Um, I really didn't get into it, I kept, uh, but I've been trying to now. I love crafting survival games, so it's totally my jam. Um, so anybody just joining in, I'll give you a super quick look at what I'm talking about for car-wise. They've got over 200 cars. They're definitely not dicking around. More road cars this time than PC2, but mostly all the race cars too that they were kind of known for. Um, Chevy's in here a lot more aggressively now. Um, Dodge is in here, never was in before. That Camaro sounds like ass. Ferrari's in here like crazy. They were, uh, they had a Ferrari pack in the PC1. The Porsche pack was in PC4. Ford's in here quite a bit too, as you can see. Um, you know, all, everybody you expect to be in here is pretty much in here. There's no Countach, Lamborghini's dead to me. Um, yeah, basically what you expect. Um, again, like Porsche, they charged out the ass and they charged 30 bucks for the Porsche pack and PC2 and now it's all in here for free. So, like, there's a lot of Porsches. But I think for my last drive, i do something that's just fun as shit. Hmm. You know what? I gotta be me. I gotta be me. I'm going with something muscly. Let's see if they didn't screw up the sounds. Um, one quick check here though. Um, you can't change some of the settings when you're in the game when it comes to certain stuff. And I want to make that I uh, sure I have that automatic clutch off. I've got a H paddle sh or I don't want to keep saying that. I've got an H shifter. H shifter uh, seven speed. Uh, TH8A shifter, Thrustmaster. So I like to use it because I like I like my classic street cars with a good old manual gear shift box. Um, yeah, let's do it. Hey, school news. Sorry, I missed that. You were in amongst the uh, JD chat spree. The wall of JD. If you guys haven't played Project Cars, they do have some, uh, like I said, some ADB uh, road courses, which I really like, and this is one of them. And on um, PC2, it was gorgeous. Um, we'll see how this is. Definitely pretty nice still. It just doesn't have the lighting that I wish it did. I feel like I mismatched here. Ha! It's sounding better, but it's still not loud enough, man. Yeah, it's not nearly loud enough. That just sounds weird, whatever's happening there. When I do my review, I'll show you guys the difference in No, Man, uh, no Man's Sky. In Project Cars 2's vehicle sounds, it's just ridiculous. Oh man, that flickering is brutal over there. I've got uh, time progression on, so you guys will see it switch today. I don't know about this. 
All right. Oh. Okay, so you can wreck some shit. Nice. That ass came out like it should have. Yeah, that engine's just not there. Like, that should be just like destroying my eardrums. Mm, this looks like it's potential for air. No, well, not as much as you think. I don't even know if there's five gears on this thing, but. Good pass, keep pushing. Nice. It is frowning. I hope it comes to PC uh, to PS5 though. But like the PC, the uh, Project Cars games are uh, famously absolute pigs because they're visually like next level in VR really um, compared to anything else for the most part. Um, plus the physics, plus the lighting, and all just everything, and they just no way. I remember back with Project Cars One, they talked about bringing it to PlayStation. And then they turned around so they just couldn't get it to run acceptable. So they've always been big on visuals. It's always been something they've been proud of. Like you can run this game in 8K if you've got the right monitors and stuff. Although they have downgraded the visuals from Project Cars 2. Woo! Uh oh. Oh, not good. Not good. All right. Man, it's still fun though. Woo! Get that ass out. I love that. She's a little slow in the early gears. Oh, there we go. There's some. Oh, wow. There's some lighting. Nice. Finally. Ooh, that's not gonna end well. The Azura Coast is absolutely gorgeous in the last part. Like, absolutely beautiful. Nice one. Moving yeah, up see, here we go. Yeah, this is next level shit. Like, this is why we play VR. not remember that turn. Son of a bitch. Ah. You're gonna love it. Well, you know, Frowny, if you're still looking to get in VR, if it's like in your, if it's in your budget right now, um, I really recommend you take a hard look at the new Reverb G2 that's coming out. It's basically an affordable index. I mean, unless you can afford the index, but I think it's going to be a really big headset. I've already pre-ordered one. I'm running on my, this is actually running on a Quest with a link cable. So if you want bang for your buck, this is, you know, it runs great. If you're uh, banging your head against the wall on any PC stuff, trying to get things going, um, feel free to uh, email me. I've uh, had to, quite the learning curve over the last little while. Rogue, you're still here. This is one of the most beautiful parts of this game, is this course.
car sounds suck still though. It's nice to see some of those lighting effects are still kicking around here. Those are, I thought, those were gone. Come on, dude. I was built in 1968. You should be kicking my ass. There we go. Asshole. <laughs> We've got some vintage stuff kicking around here. Woo! Forgot how this turns. Oh, there goes the hood. An excellent weight reduction. That's good to hear, Frowdy. Let's hear some positivity here in 2020. <laughs> that was cool. Starting to get into the nice, beautiful parts of this course. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's amazing. Uh, nope, not letting you buy. Oh, really? Okay, they ended that differently than the last one. Oh, maybe it didn't. Anyway, awesome. Engines aren't loud enough. I also have the engines 100% louder. It's ridiculous. Where are you, Rogue? Well, Frowny, thanks for joining me at the end here. I'm actually going to get off here. I haven't heard. There were some frame rate issues on my stream, so I'm going to end it there. Take a look. Assess it. What a shit show that computer can be when it comes to streaming. But I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, like I said before, I'm going to be streaming more on Twitch uh, so that I'm not bombarding my subs necessarily all the time with something I want to stream unless I think that they're gonna you know think it's cool so I appreciate you guys swinging by and being my test dummies my guinea pigs mm -mm. yeah exactly so let's see here if I can do this properly Mm-hmm. Still learning. That was not what I wanted. Gotta figure out a way to get this these windows to show up when I want them and then go away quickly. Uh it's gonna be button pushes, key pushes, which is hard in VR. But, anyways, guys, thank you. I appreciate you very much being around here. Frowny, Rogue, um, JD, everybody kicking around in the chat. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Subscribe. You know the deal. Anyways, 
Uh, yeah, hope to have a review coming at you guys for this pretty shortly. Um, I'll give you a little more detail on my thoughts as I play around with this, but um, until then, guys, I, uh, I will catch you on my next video. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.